Class for volleyball beginning in 2025. The Activities Association Board of Directors approved the setup in a special meeting today. WDA Volleyball tonight. The Demons are hosting Williston, and Bismarck started this match off about as well as you can. That's Kaylee Stroh serving up an ace to get this thing started, and Bismarck jumped out to that early lead, and they really started to extend that lead. After a long rally, it's Taylor Anderson stepping in from the back row, and she would hammer this one down for the kill. She will be in the sports spotlight tomorrow. The Demons would take the first set 25 to 17, and then Morgan Johnson Colbert with a nice side out in the second. Bismarck stays in control and wins it by the final of three sets to none. At the Hausler Gym tonight, Legacy is hosting Mandan. Here is Mandan's Lily Thompson digging it up as the offense now sends it over to Ellie McIlvaney, and she gets the kill for the Braves. But the Sabres, though, had the lead, and they started to build on it. Here's a pass to Reese Dukeshire in the center with the smart play right there with the tip at the net. And then no uh, trickery on this one, I guess you could call it here. Dukeshire goes outside to Aaliyah McPherson, down the line for the kill as Legacy wins this one three sets to none. Elsewhere in the WDA, Century goes up to Watford City and wins three to nothing. Dickinson at home takes care of the Saints. In Class B Volleyball, Beulah over center Stanton. It was Lisbon shutting out Napoleon Gackle Streeter. Weibo tops Beach in four. It was Harding County. The Ranchers over the Bulldogs from Bowman County. Washburn and Wilton Wing go five, and the Cardinals take that. And it was New Salem Elmont in Glen Ullen winning that match three sets to one. Bismarck Public Schools postponed all outdoor activities today due to the poor air quality. The Demons and the Braves tennis teams, well, they just switched venues so they could play today, and they moved it inside the bubble in Mandan. Number one singles is where we're at here. It is uh, Aiden Ellertson of BHS in the near court, and it's top of the net is his friend on that point. He's trailing, though, in this first set. Mandan freshman Jared Christen showing off his skills at the net right here as he would eventually put this point away. Christen won the first five sets, uh, actually won the, all six in the first set. Six love, six three. He wins it. Mandan does as well by the final of six to one. That should say six to one. Well, the Twins took a six game lead over the Guardians into the middle game of a three game set in Cleveland, and there's a little bit of a local tie to the ceremonial first pitch. Matt Moran was in Bismarck last week. He's our general manager's boss with Gray TV. He was previously the GM of our station in Cleveland, and it looks like the mascot called it a strike. Now to the game itself. We find Cleveland's Bo Naylor seeming to have the uh, Twins number here. It's a two-run home run that ties the game at two, and that happened in the third inning of this game. The Twins, though, were down by a run in the sixth inning when Christian Vasquez drills it down the line. It would stay fair. It would clear the wall. Last time I checked, they called that a home run. The game is tied at this point. The Twins, though, broke it open in the eighth inning of this game with Donovan Solano with the bases loaded, sends it into uh, center field. To me, it looks like an error. They called it a triple. It really doesn't matter. All three runs would score. In fact, the final three runs of the game as the Twins take it 8-3, to three, and they lead the division by seven games.